Alright guys, just a few things. I'm going to do videos late, late, late tonight. Like around 5 a.m. they will all be posted, okay? So that's late, late, late tonight, okay? So, um, <clears throat> love performing for you guys. We'll do all the... <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. We'll do all the requests for you guys, but they will be late, late, late tonight. Then I will do my own choices of songs as well, because I have about five requests or six requests or maybe four. I'm not sure. I haven't looked yet. Uh, but I will do those requests for all you guys that are great fans. Um, and about the Reddit ad. Now, I'm uh, in case you're watching, uh, and I have the link on my other video, uh, so you can check out, and there's other comments on other videos about the Reddit ad, R-E-D-D-I-T. So if you want to check that out, now make some positive comments if you want. But the thing about the Reddit ad is that most of it isn't true. I think the reason why the Reddit ad was produced was because I had made comments about a guy that's always making nasty comments about me. So I think he just turned, took the comments that I said about him and then put them up on there. He was just always rude to me. I mean, when he was before, he never said anything rude. He was always very positive. I'm not interested in dating him, so he put up that red ad, Reddit ad. I'm married to a woman, so he put up that Reddit ad in, in to backlash against me. So his name is Richard Cucci. So I, um, I, I think that's why the Reddit ad came to existence. So it was kind of like, well, you know, he's not interested in me. Um, and I make all these negative comments because he's not interested, which is a really sad way to try to date someone, uh, especially when they're married. Uh, and then he tried doing that, and then he, and then I made some nasty comments saying, uh, not really nasty comments, I wasn't trying to be nasty, I was just saying, like, someone that does all this must have a mental illness, must be this, must be that. So then he started saying stuff like that about me on the Reddit app. So it's all obvious that it's all fake. I'm a very good quality person. I have a good career. Well, my career is a car salesman, which is a decent career. Uh, I would say it's a good career. I'm, I'm a very hard worker. I have volunteered at a hospital for 20 years. I'm never going to get plastic surgery, so no one's ever going to see me look bad because even my dad, who's in his 80s, looks really, really good. I mean, I'm going to look exactly like that. So I'm never going to look bad. So there's no real reason why that ad should even come into uh, existence. But or that Reddit thing should have come into existence. But I think that's the reason why. So it all stems from me rejecting someone because I'm married. Uh, so Richard Cucci uh, was interested in me and I said I was married. Told him I was married many times and he still asked me out and he still pressed on it. And then I said some things about him that I felt bad about saying, but I was like, well, this must be it because why would you ask someone over and over and over again that's married that's clearly not interested even if he wasn't married uh and then he was like and then he did that red ad so that's why it came into existence so um anyway um i'm going to produce some videos late in the late tonight really excited about that can't wait all right uh i just took a bit of a uh uh, uh um an, an escape to a kind of like a very scenic area and you'll see that in my videos it was really nice i, I loved it uh, uh so anyway uh that was really fun uh anyway you know so if you want uh to make requests do so because i will be doing videos but they will be later so you have time to make the request in um and then i will be doing uh, and the other thing i was going to mention yeah so you know in terms of plastic surgery and all that, I, I mean, I always talk about plastic surgery because I think it's a really important topic only because a lot of celebrities do it. Now, I know I won't ever do plastic surgery because I feel very gorgeous. I feel very blessed to look as good as I do. And I look as good, this good all my life, which is very good. If you look at someone like Sylvester Stallone, who's had plastic surgery, he looks really bad compared to what he could have looked like. And his dad looks better than, I think, I'm not sure what his dad looks like now. I haven't seen a picture of his dad recently, but his dad looks way better than he did. Um, way better than he, he does even now, I think, probably. I'm not sure how what his dad looks like. Maybe he's aged some, but, you know, like, so is sort of still very, very popular. We all love him. He's amazing, but imagine what he would have looked without plastic surgery. Now, that's not to say plastic, and now, now for me, I like to promote things that celebrities that celebrities do because it's important that we get that we get that out there because uh, plastic surgery is a wonderful thing for some people, right? Uh, some people look Kylie Jenner 
uh, was able to do plastic surgery and now she looks like a mega star. She's gorgeous. I would say she's really gorgeous, probably a 10 out of 10. And before the plastic surgery, I would say maybe she was a, a 4 out of 10, maybe 5 if she's lucky. So in some cases, it does work out for the best. But if you are going to get plastic surgery, I'm very lucky to look very, very gorgeous. I don't need plastic surgery. So I'm very, very lucky. But some people really do, really do want it because it's important. Like, I, I never grew up with any flaws. So for me, it's not a big deal. But some people really have a flaw. So, I, like, if I had a big, big nose and the rest of it was like this, I would probably get plastic surgery on my nose, right? Like, it, it just depends on what, you, what your looks are. So I'm very, very lucky. So some people really do need it. Uh, in terms, maybe they don't need it, but it's much better for them. Like Kylie Jenner, for instance, look at her. Like, she's gorgeous. And if she didn't have plastic surgery, she would be, like, a nobody probably by now. Um, so anyway, sometimes it really does work out for the best, right? So I'm not... I, I, I'm, I'm only promoting plastic surgery for people that have flaws that, that could be easily removed and they could look a lot better. For me, I don't think I have any flaws. I'm, I know I don't have any flaws. My dad is very good looking even now in his 80s. If I look like that in my 80s, I'd be very pleased. So, so it's something that um, if you have flaws that are obvious that can easily be corrected with plastic surgery, then by all means, go ahead. So anyway, that's my vlog. Um, I will be coming on with a documentary, a biography about myself again, an autobiography. So um, I will be coming on with that. But I'm not going to come up with that right away. I will, I will take my time with that. But anyway, I'm very, very, like, my, my background is very kind of humble, very kind of nice. You know, I'm just kind of like a, a, a very, you know, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm very focused on what I have to do for myself, of course. But, but I'm very kind of, um, I'm not the typical celebrity type, although I don't know what celebrities live like. I've never met I've met some celebrities, but I haven't met most of them. So I don't know how they live like. I don't know what they're like, but in terms of what I'm like, I would say I, I'm kind of like a celebrity look, but not really a celebrity attitude. I would say I'm not very snobby uh, in some sense. I mean, in some sense, I know I'm very good looking, but in some sense, I know I'm not like kind of a snobby kind of personality. I'm not kind of like an arrogant person. Uh, I do know what I'm worth, though. So I mean, if somebody tells me otherwise, I, I know I'm, I'm worth more, but... I mean, I'm very, very, um, I, I guess I'm not really attached to that celebrity persona that I have, but I do look like I could be a major, major celebrity, but I don't really consider myself someone that thinks that way, really. But I do feel that, you know, maybe one day when I, when I actually am famous, maybe I will feel that way, but, but I'm not really connected to that. I'm mostly connected to, I mean, I grew up in, in a small city, so to me it's not like, um... And I lived in Toronto, so to me it's not like a major thing to be like a major snob, but some people really are really snobby, and, and maybe they are celebrities, maybe they're not, but I, I don't, I mean, most, most people aren't celebrities, but um, some people are just really, really snobby, and it's weird because they, they look like nobodies, right, but they're just really snobby, so, um, but I, I would consider myself a very nice person, but to some extent you have to be a bit snobby, you know, but... But, I mean, I would, I would say I'm very positive, very friendly, very nice. Uh, but I'm very focused, too. I'm very, very busy, so I've got a lot to do. So sometimes I can't really run around and chat with people because I'm just super busy. But I'm very, um, very humble and very nice. But, um, and I love people that are just, you know, um, that show they care, you know. It's kind of nice to see, you know, with, with all these celebrities that have all this money, you know, some of them, are, most of them are kind of nice. You know, Lady Gaga is very nice. She talks about people being rejected. Uh, she was always rejected in roles and she made it. So she's very inspirational. A lot of celebrities are like that. And a lot of celebrities are humanitarian. So there are a lot of celebrities. Like Madonna had her kids volunteer at a hospital. You know, so she's got that kind of... Um, the, a lot of celebrities are very, very, you know, nice in some sense. Uh, and, I mean, you don't know them until you meet them, so you can't say for sure, right? But, I mean, they're very busy, and they have a lot of people after them, right? So it's kind of like, well, you know, to how nice can you really be? But, um, 
But then there are some servers who are always really, really nice. Like The Rock is really, really nice. Apparently he's just nice all the time. And Hugh Jackman is nice all the time. He's just a really nice person. Like you just find, and you, even with the most ordinary fans, they're really, really nice. And that's kind of where I fit in. I don't have much time, but I'm kind of like that. So anyway, totally enjoy my channel. To all my 9,000 videos that are there to already see, totally enjoy those. And, um, totally subscribe, comment, and like. Uh, Alright, so thank you so much. Now, um, now obviously, you guys know when Richard Cushy makes comments, it's all fake because he doesn't know me. And it's obvious that it's someone that doesn't that likes me that I'm not interested in. And it's, it's obvious when you see the comments. They're very, very negative. My channel is like beautiful, awesome, amazing. So I'm sure you all know uh, that it's not real. Uh, anyway, I'm really appreciative of all the fans that do watch me and like me very much. And my, my stuff is really, really good. I'm better than RuPaul Drag Race. I'm better than most celebrities. I look better than Enrique Iglesias even. Like, some celebrities that are known for their looks, very well known for their looks, I'm better looking. So I'm very pleased with that. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Watch my 9,000 videos in the meantime before I produce new ones. There's lots. I'll do keyword searches, do searches on things that maybe you didn't think of searching for. Watch videos with no views, because sometimes the videos with no views are better than the videos with a lot of views, right? They just got missed because they've got 9,000, so people miss them. So watch ones with no views, watch ones with 10 views, watch ones with, you know, 500 views, watch ones, I have one with 2,000 views almost. So you can watch that one for sure. That was a really good one. But, you know, some of my videos that have no views are sometimes way better than other ones, right? So give those a chance. Honestly, like I've seen some, they're like, wow, this is really good. I have no views, I'm shocked. So anyway, totally enjoy my channel, have fun with it, explore, uh, compare me to celebrities, you know, think. Is this guy really, really what he says he is? Like, is Jeffree Star worse than he is? Yes, Jeffree Star is worse than me, I would say. Is this guy better than, you know, some other people that are really, really good? Not going to name any names, but does he have better talent? Does he look better? Does he have this this awesome kind of like catchiness to his tunes that he maybe did covers of or original hits? You never know, right? So just check. Do the actual comparison. Is this guy better looking than Enrique? Well, in reality, maybe you might think Enrique is better looking, but in some of my videos, I do look way, way better than Enrique. Obviously, Enrique is very good looking, but some of my videos, I do look better than many of the main stars. So, I'm very, very attractive, luckily for me, and I sing and dance exceptionally well. So, totally enjoy all that and more. Thank you. All right. Bye.